So today is going to be an incredibly important fundamental lesson. And we're going to talk about the scoreboard and we're going to talk about how to make team scores. And team scores are really interesting because team scores are actually a collection of multiple scores. Now, as you can see here, we have hit the red team and we did it separately in the Forgotten Colonies server because of every team having entirely different objectives. For example, red has home sugar, home dark oak, home apple, and that's all meaning actually they bring a certain amount of apples, dark oak and sugar to their home capital. But blue has the wool, the coal and the birch so that's absolutely necessity to make it different and that's actually the only time we have taken a repeat command block and that actually repeats into an unconditional chain command block so we never do that anywhere else because that's ridiculous normally you always have an execute if and conditional chain command blocks on top of it but in this case we always want team score to be calculated every tick and this helps us update the score for example, let's go to the red team. Now here you'll see their way of scoring points by handing in sugar, dark oak log and diamonds. And normally we have item frames here, but because we changed hosts, we actually without them. Now the Corsairs, they are pirates. So they need supplies for the ships and they need wood to fix their ship. And they just have some other beach like objectives as well. And as you can see, you'll see they need 40 and a shipment of zero. If I would hand them in, you'll see shipments is one and Corsairs now have one point. If I would hand in a diamond, because they are one diamond for two points, you'll see they have three points now and they still need 18. Of course, they still need 17. We're not going to go into that. In another guide, we will cover how to make these signs, of course. Let's go back to the engine and simply check the red team. And as you can see, there's a little sign called send to capital and we're just enclose them so we know this is a certain section of the game and we just made an empty command block actually in between the home diamonds as you can see in the previous one the score for red was still zero and the home diamonds will make sure the score goes to two the home sugar makes sure it goes to three and that's how we got the three points now you see they all go into team cog and we actually do that to prevent the flicker because if you wouldn't the scoreboard would be flickering all the time now, there is a command scoreboard objectives set display sidebar team calc and as you can see it prevents flicker so we actually parse it into the team scores to get this flicker out of the screen and as you can see team scores look a bit better and they have color as well of course now it's actually done here parse scores to prevent flicker we basically parse the team calc into the team scores and we actually give them a name as well and zealous is actually a fake player we'll go into that later as well we'll do it for every team so that's basically how that works. And that's basically the sample we'll give you about this. Now let's see how we're going to set this up, of course. Before we continue this, we will need to go over the fundamentals of the scoreboard a little bit before I can just show you blindly. Scoreboard. If you type scoreboard in chat, you'll have two options. You have objectives and you have players. Now players can be players as in people who are actually online, but they can also be fake players. And that's really important. For example, the, the four players you'll see in the team score to the right are all fake players. They're the Corsairs, the Dredgers, the Morians and the Zealots. And also we have four fake players called yellow, blue, green and red. And we also have a lot more fake players. Now, for example, we also have default value, which actually stores all the base values of everything. How much you have to invert. For example, if you miss the egg event, you'll get minus 10. And we'll store that in a player called the default value. I've seen other tutorials. They do it actually with storing the score in every player. I think that's ineffective. You better have a fake player. Now, last but not least, we have a player called round value, who actually stores all the round data. This tutorial is going to be quite tactical it's going to be somewhat difficult but if you have any base knowledge it's going to be relatively easy if you don't just pay attention so first things you have objectives and what can the objectives do you can set the display of objectives as you can see to the right the team score is done with set display you can add a new objective you can list all the objectives i will do that you see there's an insane amount of objectives. We have a total of 163 objectives on the server right now. You can modify an objective, change a name, etc. You can remove an objective and you can set display. So basically what we want to do first is add. And what we're going to do first is we're going to add a test calc. Now then you have an insane amount of options and most of them you will not use. The main thing you want to use is actually the dummy. The dummy is just an empty scoreboard objective and you can just store numbers in there so that's ideal so let's put an empty objective and call it test calc 
dummy. Then we're gonna make an other objective. A little trick you might not know, if you do the arrow up, you always get the previous commands. And then we make it test score, and we also make that a dummy. So we have two new objectives. We have test calc and test score. Let's now put the test calc objective into the sidebar. We'll set display, sidebar, and as you can see, you can do a lot more. You can actually only show certain scores to certain teams. We used that in the past, but we haven't done that for a while now because for testing purposes, that's really annoying. You can do it below name and we track the player kills actually below name. You can do it in the list, which is actually when you press tab, you'll see whoever is online, you can score. But for now we use the sidebar and we're gonna put the test calc in there. Now, as you can see, it totally disappears to the side and that's because there's nothing in there yet. So let's go to our command block and we'll type scoreboard players. Now, the only one you don't see in this list is actually set because it doesn't fit, but it's actually the bottom one. It's called set and we're gonna make a fifth color player. So let's make a team called Aqua because that differs from the rest of the teams. And we're gonna put test calc to zero. So scoreboard player set Aqua test calc is zero. This will make sure that Aqua will be set in the sidebar. Well, at least that you expect, but of course our command block itself is actually set to need redstone. That would work, of course. Uh, repeat command block can definitely take redstone, which actually might be handy in a lot of situations if you don't want the command block to run all the time. Personally, I would love to use an execute if for that, but as you can see, it jumps now to the sidebar. Test calc, aqua is zero. Zero is just a score like any other score, so zero does not count as not being a score but you rather want this to be always active and then it will always run. Let's put a chain next to it and we're not gonna use it yet, but first we need to find something to do for that player. So let's make a new objective and call it T diamond or. Now why I can't put test diamond or because you can only have 16 characters or max into the names. So we're just gonna name it like this right now. now of course we don't want a dummy now, we want something to track our mining. As you can see, if I would just do the arrow down, you'll see a ton of objectives. It's going to be hard to find because if you just would type diamond, it won't work. But if you just follow the objectives you see, then you can pinpoint what you want. So first things first, you type Minecraft and you type the dot and then you'll see broken, but we don't want broken. Broken will simply check literally broken objective, not or. And you have to remember if you break a log, you break a flag, you break a pressure plate, that will check broken. But or actually use the mind command. Now there's a lot more. You'll have crafted, you have killed, and many more. You would just basically type Minecraft dot, and then you'll just try every letter and you'll see whatever's available, or you just check the documentation. For now, we actually want mind. And then we go Minecraft, we just follow the tips, and now you have much more freedom. Now you can look within items, so you go for diamond ore. Now we have created an objective called T diamond ore, and we're going to track how much ore we are mined. If we're going to set this as a display to the sidebar, that's gonna look really weird. Let's quickly give it a point for us, players. Set aqua, you, you don't have to use a player, you can also use a fake player, aqua, T diamond ore is one. As you can see, you can track it now. Now, if you want to fancy this a little bit up, you'll go to scoreboard, objectives, modify, T diamond ore, and then you can set the display name. So you can say, Hello, I want it to be diamond or mind. Now, as you can see, you do have to add these string quotations around it. And that's actually just as all basic code go. If you want to have a string, you'll put quotations around it. Now you'll see diamond or mind in the test objective to the side bar. So that's absolutely perfect. And we already put one point into it and that's absolutely fine. Now this also accept JSON. So that's absolutely perfect if you want to colorize it. This is a little bit of an extra trick. So we call it diamond or mind and gonna actually give it a color as well. If you want to know more about the JSON, check out the guide that actually is about titles where we go really in depth on how the JSON is formed and that will help you a lot. So let's give it the color aqua. So now we have a display name that is actually aqua colored. So that's absolutely perfect, isn't it? Of course, people with a silk touch can exploit this for points and we don't want that to happen. That's why we're going to quickly make another objective and we call it p diamond or and we actually have to track the used command which will track if we use it so for or block that would actually be being placed down minecraft diamond or there it is now if you would give it a set display directly you can actually do that here diamond or placed and again if you want to make that a text one red 
And that is actually punishable at minus one point. So we now have the repeat command block called scoreboard player set aqua test caucus to zero that will also always recalculate the score for you. So let's now make an operation. An operation you do actually by doing scoreboard players operation aqua test calc because we want to add it to the test calculation and we want to add it so that's plus is and then we go every player who is actually in team aqua we will track the t diamond ore so we'll track everyone who is actually mined the diamond ore if we set the display back to test calc it's still zero of course because one simple reason there is nobody in team aqua this of course means that not only do we have to track aqua but we also have to place aqua so team at aqua of course we can also give the display name and by now we actually know how to do that text aqua color is of course aqua so we also give it a display name with actually the text aqua and we can we could give it like this but i don't know if you want that okay let's do a capital letter as well now we created a team aqua of course now i want to join the team aqua myself and now we're actually in team aqua so we know for a fact that if i would mine diamond ores so let's grab a stack let's just put them down here now take a pickaxe and of course you have to put yourself in, into um, survival i will mine this one test coke goes up by one of course it's flickering because we talked about that earlier we'll print that later to test score and every diamond ore i mine now will actually be giving me a score in the test calc. Let's go back to creative. As you can see, we'll set it to zero first and then we'll set it to four by adding all the diamond ores from all the players in Team Aqua to the score. Now, of course, if I would be cheating and I'll do it with Silk Touch, we want to make sure that if I place black diamond or block, I actually lose a point. So let's do exactly the same operation, Aqua, test calc and then we actually take the minus and we'll take a team is aqua and then we do p diamond ore now i just placed all these blocks so you see actually i'm already minus because i placed 12 blocks and it was already tracking it for me and of course we can easily check that if we put the t diamond ore first in the sidebar and you see it's four four for reaper iru and one for aqua we actually have to remove that of aqua because aqua is not a player it's a team so what we want to do scoreboard players reset aqua get out and now you see i mined all these ores but if i would see how many are placed already well, that's 12 so as you see i placed 12 diamonds ores and i only broke four now Another problem we're having now is, of course, that the calculation might flicker from time to time and we don't want that to happen. So we make a new one and we basically say scoreboard players operation aqua test score is aqua test calc. And now we're actually going to track not test calc but test score. And we'll put this one on always active. Test score looks a little bit poor so far. So let's quickly modify test score display name text team scores color is gold for example let me type that right actually now of course you want the team score to be colored as well so you want aqua actually to have the aqua color of course we already gave aqua the color we want team aqua but this is not team aqua this is actually a dummy player called aqua so if we want to fix that we just simply do the following thing team join aqua aqua and that's not everything of course because now it's still white aqua is in team aqua but aqua itself has no color yet if i press tab if i would team join yellow i would have a yellow name but if i do team join aqua i still have a white name now if you go to team and you'll do modify aqua you'll see a massive amount of things and of course one of them is a color you can set a suffix, a prefix, and everything you want. But we are going to just set the color aqua. And now you see aqua instantly changed to aqua. If you want to give aqua a different name, all you have to do is actually, you can just go here and you just have to rename it because in the end, it doesn't matter. So if you want aqua actually to be called the Sky Lords, sure. But we first have to make sure that, that aqua itself gets reset entirely because we don't use it anymore. And we actually need team 
leave aqua and we actually join aqua with the sky lord so this basically makes sure that in the end and this is how we exactly do the same in the end it's just renamed to sky lord so you know you're the sky lord and basically we do exactly the same in the forgotten colony server you'll see we store everything in the team called yellow but only in the end we'll rename it to zealots and corsairs and we'll add that player to the team as well now i can mine all i want and i'll actually get points for that I'm trying to get to zero again but as soon as i start placing the blocks i'm getting the minus score again so this is basically how you create a team score tracker and it works absolutely perfect so i hope you learn something from this and you can actually apply it to your own server or to your own mini game whatever you like to do it's not going to be too hard for your server especially if you only track a few objectives of course in the end running a function on a schedule would work better but it's not necessary at all if you want to do it like this and you don't want to have to put files on your server etc with functions you can just do it like this and it works absolutely fine and now we actually run the team scores of the Skylords with these simple command blocks. And we track two objectives already. So I hope you learned something from this. I hope you can now make teams for your server and you can add multiple objectives. And when players join the teams, they can get scores by multiple objectives. And that will actually work perfectly.